Let's head to Ghana, where the National Security Ministry has defended the actions of its personnel who have been accused of brutality against the civilians in an operation in the northern part of the country over the weekend. The ministry says last Tuesday, an initial team of counter-terrorism intelligence officers was deployed to Garu Town to conduct what it called a special operation without going into more detail. The ministry statement says the officers were then attacked by an irate group of youth armed with AK-47 rifles, machetes and other weapons, adding that the youth fired multiple gunshots at a black Toyota Land Cruiser in which the officers were seated. As a result, a statement that the soldiers returned to Garu on Saturday to seize weapons used by the perpetrators of the attack. The security forces have been accused by some MPs of using excessive force against young people. We'll discuss this some more with Lansa Musa. Lansa Musa is a journalist from the EIB Network in Ghana. He joins us on the news live from Accra to unpack this. Uh, Lansa, welcome. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, uh, Paul. Yes. Uh, what do you make of, of uh, this special operation conducted by the counter-terrorism intelligence officers uh, in the northern part of Ghana, I mean, uh, we've seen the statement from the Ministry of, uh, uh, of National Security. Um, they even said that uh, these, um, uh, the assailants went as far as surrounding the police station where the uh, uh, intelligence officers went to take refuge. Tell us some more about that. Well, um, I have been following Boko for some time, um, for some eight years. Uh, the Garu area is part of a larger uh, area called the Boko. Uh, or Kusau Kingdom, and for so many years they've had issues with some chieftaincy like that. And for that reason, there's been some level of mistrust uh, for persons who come about parading as uh, security officials because they have had an incident where uh, somebody purported to be a national security operative was killed in a gun battle in, in one of the chieftaincy clashes. And so, someone Wednesday, I, I personally got a call from a colleague who works in Daru uh, telling me about the, the arrest of the five national security operators who they claim were not actually national security operators because of how they were moving around. The people suspected they were actually not um, national security operators, but that they were coming in to foment trouble. Uh, just around that time, the, there's a festival that is celebrated by one of the factions in, in the area called the Mampusi group. They were celebrating a festival called the Namba Festival. And there were rumors that uh, a government official has directed that uh, a rival chief be smuggled into uh, Boko Township to uh, celebrate the festival. And so when they saw the persons who are said to be national security operatives now, uh, they felt suspicious and decided to confront them. And in the confrontation, uh, they, they ended up handing over the five people. That's the report I got from the journalists working in the area. They handed over the five persons to the police in, in the area, but they did not do so without the, uh, having some exchanges with them, which led to the destruction of the V8 that was being used, the long freezer V8 that the five national security personnel were using. And, and so it, it created uh, tension in the area, and the five persons were handed over to the Boko police, who later handed them over to the Upper East Regional Police Command. And this uh, led me to ask the National Security Minister a question on Saturday at an event, the, the dawn on, on which the incident happened. I asked him a question uh, on the identity of the five persons who were arrested. And he told me personally that the five were actually members of the counter-terrorism terrorist unit of the National Security Ministry, and they were on a covert operation in the Garu area. If um, you know Garu and Boko very well, it borders Ghana and then Burkina Faso. And so in recent times, if you've been following the issues of terror attacks in the Burkina Faso enclave, um, you, you would understand that the National Security Ministry wanted to make sure that Ghanaians were safe from the minister's uh, conversation with me. And so the five persons were sent from Accra with direct orders to go to an area called Kugri in the Garu Township to effect the arrest of some uh, terrorists that they claimed were operating in the area. But when they got in there, uh, because they used an approved route to get into Garu, the youth in the area felt that they were okay. 
not actually national security personnel, and so they okay. attack them due right. to those exchanges. Okay. Yes. Uh, 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 so, so are you saying that some of what we're seeing with these weapons and the youth uh, mistrust and all that is maybe uh, something close to what happened with the Kokomba Nanumba, you know, crisis in in the nineties? So, for for so many years, the Kusasis and Mampusis in Boko have been fighting over who as the rifle chief for Boko. Um, the the Kusasis dominate all the six aspects we have in the Kusa area, namely Boku, Taru, Tempani, Kusiga, uh, Zebila, and then Binduri. They dominate the area. And the Mampusis come from the northeast region of Ghana, not the upper east region. But history has it that for some years uh, back, the Mampusis came in as merchants. And Mampusis are naturally warriors. And so uh, from the history we have, they settled in, in, in area and then became chiefs at the time the Kusasis were not really interested in chiefs and Simat. But later when the Kusasis realized that they were the owners of the area, they decided to unskin their own chief. And that has been the problem in, in, in the area. I can tell you that uh, from 2008 till now, hundreds of people have been killed in, in, in the chieftains in Boko. Right. That has created that mistrust in, in, in the area. Right. And, and so the national security then went on an operation with the military at dawn, that was on Sunday, around 3 a.m., to make sure they look for the weapons and the persons who are said to have attacked the national security operators okay. who are on the covert mission. So that is what the reporters we have on the phone are right. telling us. Well, um, the five persons who were attacked by the youth in, in Garu were actually national security all operators right. from the counter terrorist unit. Lansa, quite interesting. I mean, it was really a bloody one in the 90s. I remember the Kokumba Nanumba uh, crisis right there. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that one, but thank you so very kindly for joining us. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you very much.